Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 1966 Chevy Chevelle SS 396 Big Block. This car is running absolutely beautiful. That motor produces so much nice power. It's beautiful the way it runs. It just puts you back into the seat. The handling on this car with that full Hotchkiss suspension and those big sway bars, this thing rides flat as a board. When you go around the curve, there is no sway to this car. It just goes around the curve. This car, we've done so much work on this car. We have done everything from the cooling system to the electrical, redid all of the motor setup on it. Um, pulled the dashboard, the whole interior, fixed all of the interior lights, fixed all of the external lights on it, got all the brakes working properly now. Um, just tons and tons of work that we had to do on it. I mean, listen to how nice this car idles. Yeah, how good does that sound? Oh. But she is just a great car to drive. And that five-speed standard transmission, man, how nice. You get on the highway, drop it into fifth gear, and just cruise. This car is fun to drive, extremely fun. Oh, you can hear the fans go on. Those are the new bigger fans that we put in here. Let's see if we can get the hood open. Show you uh, underneath. Ah. So there's the underside of the hood. Look at how beautiful that is. Everything is where it's supposed to be. The car runs beautiful. We got the new master cylinder that we painted. We made all the hard lines where rubber lines used to be, so this way it looks really nice. We did all of the brake lines, so they have the little coils in them for the flex, so this way, as this shakes at a different rate than the, the frame does, that's what takes up that shape. We also put the heater hoses where they're supposed to be, got the fuel set up, Another steel line that we made for the fuel line because they had a full rubber line in there. We also made the nice steel line here. We have the um, fully electronic Bluetooth distributor in there, which you can program that distributor on the fly from your phone. It is such a nice distributor setup. It really adds a bunch of power and you can change your timing curve very easily just by opening up your phone and pushing a different timing curve that you set for it. We also put a brand new alternator in there because being that we got rid of the and meter, we were able to go to a 100 amp alternator instead of the 60 amp alternator that they had in there. And with these big, big fans that draw tons of amperage, that runs them beautiful now. We don't lose any voltage at the gauge. We also did all new battery cables, and we make up all our own battery cables, and we make it nice and easy. All you gotta do, turn the wing nut, pull the wing nut off, pull the battery cable off, you store your car for the season. No big deal. So this car came out beautiful. And then on the interior, look at how nice this interior is. I mean, this interior is really nice. We have to bring it back, have them steam the headliner to get it a little bit cleaner, but that's about all that has to be done there. And then as you remember, we pulled out this whole dash. So this way we can get everything working properly in here. And if you look, left turn signal, right turn signal, look at that, they work. All the gauges, they all work. See, every one of these gauges now work. 
all of the lights on the dashboard. When you turn the headlights on, which you can't see now, look at that, bright light goes on for the high beams. And then when you push the button for the high beams, look at that, that goes off now. How cool is that? The radio is correct. This is now the volume. This is now the stations. They had them backwards. So we fixed that. We fixed all the lights in here, fixed all the heater cables, so now you can go from heat to defrost, hot to cold, and you have all three speeds on the fan. We put the new gauges at the bottom with the numbers because these gauges don't really have numbers, so you really can't tell what you really are at. So what we did, the owner asked us if we could put these gauges in. So we got a nice set of VDOs with the chrome bezel and the uh, semi-gloss black with the nice lettering on it. So it looks like it's something that should be in here. We also hooked up an old tack that was out of his dad's car for him. And that thing works absolutely beautiful. So this car came out really great. I am so happy with everything on this car. Windshield wipers work. Even the cigarette lighter now works. Everything is working. All the stereo is working. Everything is working. So there you go, guys. There's what's going on with the 66. And uh, real happy with it. Been driving it around. She cruises beautiful. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you up to date as we go. Alrighty guys, have fun, talk to you soon, okay bye.